Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu, I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain learning a SaaS course from ChatGPT. I hope this title is very much interesting for you all. Let's see how you can use as a, a programmer or you want to become a programmer in a, a SaaS, how you can use a ChatGPT. I'm just giving a disclaimer here that uh, you can't use a chart GPT in your organizations. Once you get a job as a programmer, most of the organizations, they have already been uh, blocked this chart GPT uh, access for your career and all. So you can't do that. But for practice purpose, are you already taking course at somewhere and you want to do a more examples or you want to do some practice examples or something like that stuff, we can easily use chart GPT or from starting of scratch code also, we can write it with chart GPT. Okay, it is not a completely alternative solution that without taking any training at somewhere, uh, you can use a chart GPT and learning the course. No, so definitely you can't be able to do that. So you are already taking the course at somewhere. So you can, how you can make your practice uh, more crisp and so that you can do a more practice examples and all, how you can able to clear the certification and all, we'll see in this. For that, first of all, what I will do is I'll try to uh, open a chart GPT, which is already installed in my computer. And let me just open the chart GPT and let me give you certain codes uh, for uh, the chart GPT and how it uh, behaves and uh, what type of uh, answers you will get it. We will see one by one. For that, let's get into it. I have already chart GPT in my computer. Let me just open the chart GPT. You also can install the chart GPT in your computers if you want it. Yeah, you can try that. So here the chart GPT 3.5 is already there in my computer right now. What I can do is, so I'm just asking you the first uh, uh, question to the chart GPT as uh, you are my SAS trainer and give me the course schedule. for completing SAS base certification exam for 30 or maybe within a 30 days. Let's see how it responds. See here you have a course details and let's see and most of the things it's already been covered. You can see uh, certain stuff like SAS fundamentals, introduction to SAS and data manipulations and as well as data analysis and reporting then followed by advanced data handlings and data management, data transformation, statistical procedures and day 15 to 18 is a descriptive statistics like mean and frog frequency and all you need to learn. So hypothesis testing and regression and macros and everything you can get it here. So you can see and you can ask for all the schedule for 30 days of course, whatever is schedule is required to complete it, you can get it. Imagine. So you got it analysis like maybe just imagine. So you have done, uh, you, you want it to uh, uh, do a practice of a concept name called proc sorting. Imagine, so like a day one, day two, day three wise you got some topics. So now your question is, I want to use, uh, uh, I want to do a practice on uh, uh, proc sort concept in SAS. So what I can ask you in the second tip as a, give me some, SAS PROC SORT SORT EXAMPLES FOR PRACTICE So now, if we just give this, let's see, here is some practice examples, you can see that. Okay, so it's giving with code also. So what you can do is very simple stuff. 
you can just uh, you just see it is asking you proxor data equal to my data out equal to sorted data by age and all but here the question is you don't have a data called my data okay so now i'm asking i don't have a my data okay you can ask sas that uh, i don't have my my data data with me please try create one for me so now you can see there will be a one more data set will be created see it's giving a simple data set creation what i can do is i can copy this i'll go to my sas software which is there on the desktop i'll open it then i'll paste that particular code I'll just run that particular code. That's it. I'm done. Check log. There is no issues. The data set also created as a work library as my data. So which is already there. There we have a name, age and salary wise information. What I'm asking is here to SAS as it's already given. Uh, it's already given for me to do a practice examples. So it is giving sorting a data set by single variables is the code. I'll copy this code. I'll go to my uh, SAS which is there here. I'll just paste it. So then I'm just trying to run the code. I need to sort the data based on the age wise. I'm just sorting it. I'm just running my code. I think I'm done. So now you can see the sorted data set is saved into a new data set here. So you see that the data is sorted based on the age wise 22 years, 25 years, 20 years, 28, 30 and 35. So you got it the data in an order of age wise if you want it. So like this, you can do all the practice examples. Or do one thing, imagine certain codes are not working. I do one thing, I try to remove my data set with semicolon here, I forget it. Okay, but I'm trying to run it while doing my practice somehow. So when I'm just doing it, I got an error, but I don't know what this error is talking about it. But if you're really interested, how exactly you need to debug, you can do one thing, you try copy the code. So this is your another tip. So what we can do is go to your chart GPT and ask for it. So you just debug my code. So you just ask for it and then enter that code what you have typed. So there and try to run it. Let's see what it is trying to debug. So it's clearly saying it. So I think so here is the code. So for better understanding. So here what it is saying is prox uh, sort. Uh, you see that the code provided prox sort uh, looks correct, uh, but the important ensure that uh, my data is exist. Yes, my data data set is already exist. Make sure that uh, either this is created as a my data or a data step here. So here the correct program, you can see that uh, it is automatically correcting your program. So, so, so here the code is here. I, I, I have not given a semicolon here in my program. Then automatically the corrected program, it's already given to me. I'll just go to my SAS here and I'll just try to write it. Okay, the code is semicolon is again back. Okay, so then you can just run the code and the code is working and check your log. So, uh, okay, just close this data set before you run it. So now you just run the program. I think it will be just debugged and now you can see that data is already sorted or something like that you will get it. So basically whenever the code is not correct and something you are really doing a mistake. Imagine in this particular above program. So instead of data lines, I have written data. Okay, so I'm just writing it here forgetting off your semicolon or removing a dollar sign in my data. Just imagine the name variable. So I'm thinking that uh, that is required or not required. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm asking my SAS to uh, just debug my code. I'll go to my chart GPT here. So debug my code. So there you can just paste that code, whatever you have it, uh, you paste it. Uh, so now let's say it will try to give you the correct code to you. You see that seems that uh, so here. Um, so here, here is the correct code. So it is trying to give you the correct code to you. You removed a dollar sign earlier, but now SAS is trying to correct the dollar sign and it try to give it to you. And so that you can go for it, uh, that particular uh, program, you paste it and then you can run it. So yeah, it will work. This is how you can be able to debug your code also. And sometimes if you want to do some more practice examples, 
imagine i want to do a sorting sorting concept of more more examples right now i got some i need to do a more examples then i can tell to my sas okay give more practice examples so it will try to give a more examples to you or uh, so you can just give that see here is the uh, what i can say that more examples if you want it sometimes you can get it or else you want it specifically edit that uh, give me more practice examples on proc sort concept okay sort and give me the number also give me 10 practice examples okay i can mention that 10 practice examples on proc sort in sas okay you try to save and submit it again so it will try to again try to take it uh, some uh, uh, what i can say that uh, that uh, practice more examples you can get it so once you got it uh, all the 10 questions now you think that you need a uh, uh, few more give me give me more uh give me more from 11 to 20 so then automatically it will try to take the uh, what i can say that examples from there it will try to give another 20 examples for you for your practice you can simply copy the code and you can just do a practice okay so in this way you can able to do it so now imagine i'm very much uh, clear with the concept of what sas uh, what chat gpt is asking me to learn i have learned i want to check the knowledge whether i'm doing right or wrong So now I will try to ask Chat GPT, give me some multiple choice questions to practice on SAS Proc. sort method okay so just mention it uh, so now you just write it uh, so now you can see the multiple choice questions is ready for you you see that so here is a multiple choice questions okay you will get it all the questions you can keep on asking it give me a 10 more questions give me a 20 more questions or something like that so here is an all the answers first question answer c is correct second question answer b is correct third question answer uh, b is again correct something like that all the things you will get it okay so you can just ask for it or else um give me some questions you can ask chat gpt give me some questions for okay give me some questions for uh sas base exam okay so you just start ask for it let's see here is the questions for your base exam whatever is required you have all the list of questions is ready for you okay and sometimes give me give me some some sas interview questions so now you can get the list uh, so you can just ask for it uh, all the basic certification question manipulation questions and as well as anything anything any questions if you want it uh, you will get it or else specifically you are looking for i need to do a practice on adsl data set and that related questions only i want it you can ask something called okay give me some questions on creating adsl data set in sas just imagine so now you can see here is a list of questions what generally you can get it uh, adsl questions okay you see that these are the list of questions okay so once you have all the questions is in place ask for it uh, okay give me the give me the answers for above questions so now the chat gpt is going to give you the answers to the questions okay 
purpose of Adam data sets and Adam principle guidelines. See, these are whatever is required for a, uh, what I can say that uh, the ADSL related questions, all the questions you can able to get it here too, right? So this is a way where you can use it, you can debug it, you can take any course name and you can ask for more examples, you can take any course name and ask for certification questions to be prepared and you can ask for uh, any um, topic and ask for to create a project based questions like uh, fill in the blanks also if you want it, anything you can able to do. So this way you can able to use it the chart GPT. I hope this is useful for you and for your career also whenever you do a practice, you no need to reduce, spend much on your trainer on everyday questions when you are stuck at somewhere. You simply copy paste that code into chart GPT and ask for it where I have done the mistake in this program or maybe debug my code. So like that uh, chart GPT will understand it will try to give you the suggestions to you. But don't completely depend on chart GPT. So the reason is once you are completely depend on chart GPT in your organization when they are not using the chart GPT for in their organization it, if it is they have blocked it because of the data privacy issues and you can't able to use it. So let's not completely depend on it whenever your trainer is saying that okay while you are doing a practice you stuck for almost 20 minutes till the issue is not solving then you just use a chart GPT. So with a 20 minutes you try stick to that particular program try stick to your log and try to see where the mistakes you have done try to get rid of it and then only go for further I hope so this particular video is very much helpful I'm thinking that let me know your comments and how you are using this chart GPT for your purposes please let me know in the comment so is it really helping or not thank you for uh, watching this video most of my students are watching my videos there but they are not subscribing it so if you feel that i think um, i deserve a subscription for this particular channel please go for it and give a like and so please uh, show your interest into a comment as a i like this this video or dislike it you provide your comments based on that i'll try to work on my next video until that thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video